that U.S. Congress, a military man, said the UAPs were doing 1K, 2 to 3,000 Gs. Um, yeah, for me, I don't believe anything that comes out of the government. Uh, so, you know, I take it with a grain of salt. Uh, basically, UFOs, yeah, UAPC, flying saucers and various objects, unidentified objects, right? Unidentified aerial phenomenon, multiple thousand Gs, spacecraft. See, here's the thing. Uh, if the technology is there for UAPs or UFOs or uh, space travel or flying saucers, whatever you want to think about it, when they say multiple thousand Gs spacecraft is crazy, if you're in the spacecraft, you're not experiencing multiple Gs. You're probably experiencing 1G, whatever 1G may be for you if you're not from Earth. From Earth, it would be one gravity, 9.8 meters, um, uh, meters per second squared, right? The acceleration, the force of gravity on Earth. So if you're flying a UAP and you're Earth being, then the odds are, and you're traveling at 1,000 Gs, the odds are the the force of gravity you're feeling inside the spacecraft is just 1g you're just able to warp space or whatever it is and that goes for any other uh spacecraft that might be there right uh i don't like it when they say uh multiple thousand g spacecraft they shouldn't be referencing it as g's anymore because there's no way they would be experiencing the g's they should start talking about the speed that they're going at or the acceleration right well then do aliens have anti-gravity then that's the key right does anti-gravity technology exist could it let's 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 rephrase could anti-gravity technology exist 100 percent. do we have it i don't know if there are aliens on earth would they have it probably right so that's three levels of answers regarding anti-gravity technology. What are we missing in terms of modern physics? Good question. In terms of modern physics, gravity is the one that stomps everyone, right? Some there's there's theories out there that say gravity is a pull. That's what they're you're usually taught. Gravity is a pull, right? But there's also physic theories out there that say gravity is actually a push right it's a push force most physics texts you read they say gravity is the weakest force in my humble opinion gravity is most likely the strongest force right and some people have theorized that gravity is actually much much stronger than uh, than what we've been taught in school in conventional physics right because we don't understand everywhere that it applies one of the things with gravity i'm going by memory by the way gang now so don't hold me to this to me the whole thing with gravity was gravity could was connecting the way i understood it was that it was connecting us in uh, through multiple membranes of uh, realities you want to call their universes so if you consider multi multiverse multiple universes being membranes then gravity was a connection between each membrane so that would be incredibly strong force if it was the connection between the membranes but since a lot of people don't believe in the multiverse don't believe in that membrane theory uh, then they would say they would assume that gravity is only acting in on our membrane on our universe so it's very weak so we wouldn't we wouldn't see the majority of force being used to connect to the other membrane. So I'm going by memory here. Uh, I looked at this stuff a long time ago. It was just super cool. The one thing I got out of all the stuff that I looked into was that we know where very, very little and conventional physics and what, what we're taught at, at school and university, most of it, it's not garbage, but it's ridiculous.